morning, everybody. Today I'm reading Genesis 1, verse 11. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the herb that yields seed, and the fruit tree that yields fruit according to its kind, whose seed is in itself on the earth, and it was so. Also 1 John 3, verse 9, in the Amplified Version. No one who is born of God deliberately, knowingly, and habitually practices sin, because God's seed, his principle of life, the essence of his righteous character, remains permanently in him who is born again, who is reborn from above, spiritually transformed, renewed, and set apart for his purpose. And he who is born again cannot habitually live a life characterized by sin because he is born of God and longs to please him. Amen. We are all so familiar with the truth so eloquently put in the first chapter of the Bible that living things only reproduce according to their kind. Oak trees always produce oak trees. We never find bananas hanging on apple trees. It's only elephants that come from elephants and so on. The law is so universal that we never see it broken. A small seed contains within itself the power to grow into whatever God has designed it to become. Given the right conditions, it will always do that. When we think about this, we might wonder how it can happen, and we may be filled with awe. But we see it happening around us all the time. That's so great to see. Perhaps it is no wonder then that the Word of God tells us so confidently that God will reproduce His life within us. No longer a life of sin, but of righteousness and holiness. As long as the conditions are right, it will happen. When we think of an acorn which will turn into the mighty oak tree, we see that first. It has to be planted in the ground where it has to die to being a mere seed in order to start becoming something else. We too have been planted into Christ and into his death. We have died with him. Wonderful. The fledgling plant needs water. We need to drink in the living water of the Holy Spirit. The growing tree needs sunshine. We need to bask in the warmth of the love of God, but also to receive light from him. We need the eyes of our understanding to be enlightened. We are to understand so that we can follow his instructions. This is one of the ways he sanctifies us in practice. Every acorn seed has the potential to grow into a mighty tree. But we know that many don't. They don't find the right conditions for growth. Unlike the acorns, we can choose to avail ourselves of the conditions which will ensure our certain spiritual growth. As we do that, we discover that the power in us is all of God, and we give him the glory for the result. Amen. Have a great day.